Hi everyone in YouTube land, this is Tony coming at you from my kitchen. Um, this is August 8th, is that right? Maybe 9th, I think it's 8th, <laughs> I should know. <laughs> anyway, it's a very good day. I think it's on 9.30. Um, we, uh, well, it's a, it's a bittersweet day, how's that? It's a good day because I have some really good foundation stuff going on, but um, my daughter and her partner Kat moved up to Portland, and they're going to live near Kat's family, so that's I'm glad for them, and I'm, I'm happy for them, but it's still hard because my daughter is, so a lot of you have met her, she was at the meet and greet, she has red hair, both my, the kids that I gave birth to, I have six kids, two that I gave birth to and four that I married when, when I married Jim, but anyway, um, both my kids have red hair, whatever, what's the point? Anyway, she was at the meet and greet working and helping get the vendors set up and that kind of thing, and she was also at the registration table. And um, anyway, she's moving away, and you know, she's just a doll. She's a very good person. I always say she's the best woman I ever met. Um, she's very mature. She's always been very mature. Um, always been just, you know, just a sweet person to be around and I love her a lot so I'm gonna see her I'm gonna go to the Northwest Conference on obesity uh, I should put a link in my pants down down below uh, on the 29th of October and uh, a great excuse to do that was I could go see Chelsea when I'm up there and Kat and, and um, so that's exciting um, Rosemary and Connie are going to go to Houston um, on that same day, October 29th, and uh, there's going to be a bariatric guru challenge at the Davis Clinic, and there's going to be several hundred people there, I believe. And that's put on by Aaron Aki. Anyway, they're going to go together, and uh, we're hoping that they're going to get on the news again because the news in Houston wanted to follow up on Connie's story, and it'll be like six months, and she's now over 100 pounds lost, so it'll look dramatically different, right, than when she first went on TV. So that's another thing going on. So the next thing I want to say, and I'm going to try and keep it short, we went live with the 2011-2012 grant program for the WLSFA. What does that mean? Starting on August 15th, uh, we will accept completed applications for weight loss and reconstructive plastic surgery from uh, people that have been referred to us by their surgeon. And the reason we created a referral program is that, um, you know, as we developed the grants program, the first two I gave, I, I just said, I choose you and I choose you, and that was my honor as a founder. I got to choose my first two. But now we have a committee, and we had to make a, a system that was as fair and correct uh, as humanly possible. And we realized we as weight loss surgery patients are not in the position to be choosing people and making decisions about medical conditions, whether one is sicker than the other or whatever. We, we can't do that. It's, it's, we shouldn't do that, right? We're always saying to people, go ask your doctor. You know, I'm not a doctor, and we're not. So we came up with a referral program. So between August 15th and until December 31st, we will accept applications. So if you need a grant, you can go to our website click on the word grants and then it'll give you a drop down menu how to apply and all the information is there and basically if from a patient's point of view you need to go back to your surgeon and let them know that there's a program that they may qualify for to refer you to us okay why I say may qualify not every bariatric surgeon in the world qualifies to refer us patients because they themselves don't have the qualifications there are people you know, doing surgeries that are, you know, it's like any profession. There's the cream of the crop, and then there's, you know, whatever's left under that. And we're, we're, uh, we want the most success for our grant recipients. We want them to be working with the best surgeons, and we need to be able to trust their, their opinion. And so they have to be center of excellence doctors, for example. There's one other accreditation they can be as well. But they have to have gone through that kind of a program. Anyway, and um, most of us that, you know, that research weight loss surgery at all would never go to anyone other than a center of excellence. So go back to your doctor, um, and if it's a plastic surgeon, they have their own accreditation. It's all on the website. Um, tell them uh, about the program. 
All they need to do is send us a simple email with their contact information and we'll send them a password and then they can go online and create a referral form for you. Okay? And uh, already though, even before they do that, you can go at our website and download the application form and there's a financial questionnaire form. You can get those things and start looking at all the requirements we have because there's a few hoops and hurdles to go through and that's on purpose because we're looking for people that have tried everything to get surgery on their own and have hit brick walls in every direction and have no other options. Those are the people we're trying to help now. We're so tiny, we have so few grants we can actually give. We're looking for people that really are at the rope's end, okay? And um, as we grow as a foundation and have more and more money, uh, God willing, we'll have lighter criteria, but right now it's pretty, pretty, uh, you know, there's quite a few hoops. So. Um, but, you know, if you really want it, you're going to do it. And uh, those are the people we want to help. I mean, we want to help everybody, but those are the people we can help. We hope we can help as many, you know. That takes me to the next subject, fundraising. The meet and greet. Um, we are hoping, you know, our grant cycle goes from uh, August 15th till New Year's Eve, basically. And uh, we're trying to sell as many meet and greet tickets uh by December 31st as possible because all that money from those tickets goes to our grants, okay? Um, all of the ticket money does. <laughs> and um, so that's super important. If any of you can swing it and buy your tickets by before New Year's Eve, that's cool. And we to incentivize people, I mean, uh, just to have fun, we made a VIP package that if you do buy your ticket before New Year's Eve, on New Year's Eve we're going to have a live drawing on the web of the first 200 people that purchased their meet and greet tickets in their room and they're going to win two airline tickets round trip to Vegas limo rides from the airport to the hotel round trip VIP cards they're like credit cards that get you into VIP lounges in all eight hotels that this company owns they own Planet Hollywood and Bally's and lots of stuff um, and they have all these secret VIP lounges that are full of all good sorts of goodies and things we probably shouldn't have, but you can get in there for free, right? <laughs> That's a card they're called the silver card, and um, oh, it also gets you to the front of the line of any restaurant and any show. So cool, right? And uh, what else do you get? Oh, and you get a hotel room. So <laughs> yay for that! So it's a really cool thing to win, and the first 200 can win it. We've sold. Uh, we're getting close to 100 now, but anyway, there's plenty of time for you to get in on that, and um, the meet and greet is going to be a ball this year. We, we announced our first speaker, Dr. Katz. Go to our website and check it out. He's really cool, and um, we're going to have lots more things coming up uh, with the meet and greet. Uh, as far as me personally, I have decided to challenge myself to lose 10 pounds. I've been at 188 for a year, and I want to lose 10 pounds by the meet and greet. I'd like to get down into a size 12. I wear, wear 14s, and so I think I can do it. So that's my personal challenge to myself. And uh, we'll talk more about the meet and greet and everything and me, but I just want to give this update. Uh, Rosemary, I hope uh, your husband's doing better, and, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye.